Hello guys, in Laravel there are many ways how to react to some changes in the eloquent model. Most popular ones are observers, eloquent model observers, and events and listeners. Which one to choose? I have a separate older video discussing both, and I will link that in the description below. In that video I raised the question which one to use, observers or events and listeners, but I found a case, why not both? It's not mutually exclusive. And in this short video, I will show you an example, which I found while doing a private code review, so I cannot share the full project. But here's the idea. When the project is updated, the project model, the observer is fired. Observer is registered in the app service provider along with other observers. So whenever the update is happening, for example, in the controller, you do project update with new data, then the observer is fired. But then inside of the updated of the observer, there are if statements and there are more down below. Again, I will not show that code, but the logic is this. If something is happening in particular with that update, then you can fire an event which will be listened by listeners. So again, controller does the update or servers, for example, or whatever. Then the observer catches that update. And inside of the observer, you have the logic based on which some events are fired. And then there are listeners that listen for those events. So for example, if the status of the project is delivered, then the event of project delivered is fired. And why is that? Because there are many things that should happen on that particular event. In the event service provider, here's the array of what should happen on project delivered. Attach invoice, KPI, calculation, stop time log of something, and then new revision uploaded. So four different listeners with four different functions, four different purposes attached to one event. In this case, it makes a perfect sense for me. So I've never found it in the wild before how observers and events and listeners can be used together, but it's very logical. Observers are for general updated or created or deleted event on the model, but then inside of the observer, many things can happen. And then based on those things, you can fire different functions, which may be also implemented with events and listeners. What do you think about this logic? Or maybe have you done something like this yourself? Shoot in the comments below. And again, I will link the older video in the description below for more details on observers and event listeners so you would get more context. And if you want more tips like this one with examples, subscribe to the channel and help me to get to 100,000 subscribers and get YouTube silver play button and see you guys in other videos.